G'day guys, it's Galvin and Jason from the Catching Company in New Zealand. You've got to love the internet. The internet is full of people who are asking for help, who, who don't know, and they often get told by people who also don't know, who think they know, information that really just confuses everyone. And so, today I'm going to clear up one of the little things about 3UZ air conditioning pumps. Did I call it the right name? It's an air conditioning pump? Yes, air conditioning pump. I, I've been playing with air conditioning pumps today, Joe. Playing air conditioning pumps, because I've been calling them all sorts of other kind of pumps. Now, the pump we're referring to is this one. It does not have a clutch. There is no clutch. See, direct drive. There's the shaft for the pump, and it is turning. The whole pump runs all the time. What it does is have this pressure solenoid. It comes down. And it's tucked at the back here. There's a solenoid in there. Okay. And the wisdom of the internet said, hey, that's where the clutch is. And, and the man wanted to change his front bearing, the one that's in here. There are also bearings in here. If you want to change them, then the pump does need to be stripped. But in this case, we're just going to change. We're just going to pull it apart and get to the bearing in here. Jason's going to come over and he is going to hold the camera. And I'm going to pull this pump apart quite quickly. I'm going to start. I'm going to, I've loosened the, the nuts around here. Uh, now we were told we needed special tools. I've got some circuit pliers. I've got an Allen key. I've got a little rattle gun. Yeah, my rattle gun. Your rattle gun, yeah. Your rattle gun. Without Correct. the clip on it. Without the clip on it. Just to make it fun. I'm just going to loosen them off. Just really take that back into town next time we're in, next, in the week, eh? Get fixed. Get it fixed. Seven millimeter socket, quarter inch drive on an, uh, an adapter, and I'm going to spin it that way. On the center bolt here. Now, if you really want to use, this is where the special tool would come in. I'm going to use right angle long nose pliers. I'm just going to flick in here. I'm going to flick into that hole and that hole, give them a buzz, and then I'll spin that off. No clutch, it's like a locking plate, it's like a four-wheel drive, you know the Surf ADD plates, easy. And we come across the same thing again, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our pliers in here. We need our pliers, we need our buzz gun. Loosen them off. Hopefully that's going to get it to spin. Yep, that's enough. That's like the locking piece. Done. And then, circle pliers. There's a circle of them. Get it nice and close and check the circle up out. Let's see if I can do it nicely, eh? What is my dog doing? Oh, there's a circlip. Adjusting stuff. My dog is adjusting stuff. And there is the dog. <laughs> is the bearing that can then be changed. It's actually pressed into that housing, eh? So I, um looks fun. It's actually dented oh. there. Dented there. But I still think you could probably get that bearing out that's pressed in that way so you'd have to just whip those out press it out the front press another one and job done and then to put it back together you, you do the opposite of take it apart there is a little washer in here watch this that one there so don't go losing that one it's like a spacer actually okay a spacer proper words are important isn't it it looks like a spacer to me yeah it is just just a oh it's a reasonable Space of washer. No clutch. Easy to pull apart, easy to fix, easy to sort. Do you know what I didn't say? What? I didn't say what these pumps come off. Oh. Ah. Now the, the pump I'm working on, um, <laughs> we see them on the post 2003, so 2004, 5, 6 LS430s, the Crowns, the GS430s, but it's different to the earlier pumps. But that may alter a little bit, so 
if you there are ones with a clutch on it the one that we're working on doesn't have a clutch so i hope that's been helpful we'll talk to you again soon catch you later